Hello to all my YouTube friends out there. I have a couple project shares. First, I want to begin with this wreath that I had made today. I had this foam form that I started out with, and I wrapped a wrapped paper twist around it, which is seafoam green. And then I had wrapped this white lace with the rosette applique within it all around the complete wreath. Then I started at the bottom. I wrapped this doily around the bottom, added these little flowers that I got at Michael's. Um, these were all white, but I sprayed them in the lavender. Added two foam calla lilies with pearlized stamen. And these two Roll tool roses were actually white, which I sprayed lavender to match, and they have diamante diamante center. And I added this vintage egg that I found at Savers, which is a thrift store by me. It's a superstore; you could find anything and anything in there. I love it, and it has this little basket and a little vintage bunny and flower spray on top of it. I added these per these pearl trims dangles to it and on each side I started with a white paper rose another white flower that I had sprayed in the sea foam then another white paper rose then a lavender ribbon rose that was originally white but I sprayed it with the lavender again then I added this bow. If the bow is a little off, I'm sorry. I have issues working with my hands due to lupus. And I have motor skill issues too. And I added this. It was a white paper rose that I had sprayed sea foam. And on top, you see the original white tool rolled roses with the diamantes. And with the two foam white calla lilies with the pearlized stamen. I just thought they were pretty and very shabby. And I'm using the same ribbon to hang the wreath that I had made the bow with. I also have another project share to share with you. It's this little arrangement that I put into this metal, metal flower pot. I filled it with these purple and blue pansies flowers. I love them. They were so springy and summery. And I trimmed the pot with this paper ribbon. And I put the lavender beaded trim on the top and the bottom of the paper ribbon. And added this lavender and black butterfly that I purchased at the Dollar Tree by me. I thought it was pretty. And I always buy them anyway. That one was actually the last one that they had. And my last project share is these little red hearts that I had made. That were inspired by Betsy Doodle, Ms. D. On D actually she goes by Betsy Doodle on YouTube if you're not sub to her please do she's a wonderful crafter and he has fantastic ideas how to make something out of really nothing you could use the scraps and you have something beautiful so what I had was three remnants of red velvet which I wrapped around an old cracker box cardboard cracker box and then I wrapped the white lace around and I trimmed them out in the in the iridescent and the metallic red string pearls in the center was a gold heart that I had necklace that I had that I took apart and at the in the backs I had the very little bit of the scraps left over from the red velvet that I had glued behind that and added a gem center. I don't know if you could see it 
but it's there. It's really pretty. Maybe on this one you could see it a little better. Sorry, my camera's acting up. And on the back, I just finished them off with wallpaper trim that wallpaper sample trim that I had in the back. So these are my projects that I have done for today. You could give me a thumbs up or leave your comments below. I want to thank all my subbies and who take their time to look at my videos and please go visit Betsy Doodle, Ms. D, and say hi to her. She's a wonderful person. I hope everybody's having a wonderful, happy, crafty day. God bless and have a wonderful evening. Thank you for watching and taking your time. Bye now.